Namaste. I am so excited for this day four practice, which is sun salutation. So everything you learned by this day, you have to practice that. And some of the posture you'll practice right here in this sun salutation. So let's begin with it. And the only caution line is that you keep yourself within the limit of your body. Don't try to stretch it too much because after doing this for a couple of cycles, you are going to see that your body has expanded enough to give you more of the body's limit going to increase and you'll be able to do more whatever you're doing now you'll be able to do a way lot better so let's begin just go to the side of your mat and first posture we learned is tanasana so we are going to practice that lift your toes up and press the mounds of the toes down all of those so big toe to the small toe, you're pressing down and then slowly you'll bring the toes down and from here, bring your pelvis down to move forward to the second posture we learned in day one, which is chair pose. And from here, stretch your arms over your head and then palms together. You can notice that when palms are not together, what's the feeling? When palms are together, what's the feeling? Every posture going to give you a lot. Slight difference, difference in the posture and the impact and the reaction going to be changed for you. So from here, bend forward and bring your trunk down. And wherever I'm changing position, I'm chanting within me, Om Suryaya Nama. So usually we begin with it, but you can do it with every posture. So bring your hands down here, knees are bended, and from here you move your right leg back, stretch it as far as possible for you, and then bring your right knee down, and keep your right foot flat. From here, just bring your buttock down as much as you can. Stay here for a couple of seconds and then change the leg position. So we are doing the simpler sun salutation today. So you'll take your left leg back, ease your shoulders, take your hands back, move your back knee down to have maximum stretch, back foot flat so, you, so that you have stability in it. And then, in this position in advanced sun salutation, we usually keep the arms up, but we didn't do it before, so it's completely optional here. I would suggest keep it simple this time. And now, move your hands down, keep your back foot little stretched, and front foot back. And this is the position which is downward dog. So keep pressurizing the mounds of the toes, pressing the center in your heels, and then move, keep moving your head down so that you can look at your top thigh. The only thing is you are not supposed to clench your shoulders, so open your shoulders here, and keep pressurizing your palms so that your shoulders remain open. Now from here, moving forward, Bring your chest slowly parallel to your hands, plank position. I can feel the energy moving into my body. So if you'll do it a couple of times, you will see that energy coming to you. And now keeping your feet flat, bending your elbows and bringing your elbows towards your trunk, side trunk, bring your chest between your hands. Chin down. And now, buttocks down, pressurizing your palms. Lift your trunk up into cobra. So this is Bhujangasana. Very good for your core, good for your shoulders, good for your arms. And whatever posture is good for your front spine, is good for your back spine too. You may surprise what's back spine and front spine. 
you will need a one spine. But in yoga, we consider four spine, front and back, and two sideways. From here, slowly come back. By curling your toes in, slowly bringing your knees up, head down. So from here onward, you're repeating all the postures. And every posture is the counter pose, the complementary to the previous posture. If you can stay in a posture, just concentrate over your breath and then slowly start keep bringing it back. Move your right leg in front between your hands. So initially, if you are not able to bring it right between your hands, you can bring it and you can drag it, like slowly drag it, use your hand to drag it further, whatever is your body's limit today. Respect that and do accordingly. And from here, bend your back knee so that you can bring your left foot in front as well. And now, bring your body down, trunk in line, stretch your arms up over your head, lifting your body up, coming back to the second position, and bring it back. Couple of deep breaths. It's mandatory to do Shavasana. So I'm showing you the standing Shavasana where you're just concentrating on each and every part of your body and saying to yourself, affirming, my body is relaxing. My shoulders are coming down. I'm enjoying the opening and the balance. And that's one simple way to relax after sun salutation. And that's all for today's practice. So keep post at me or in the group weight loss the yoga way about your success, your wins and your challenges so that I can help in guiding you and improvising the posture for you. Thank you so much. See you soon.